Hi, in this video, we're going to see how to get started with using the extension ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud in Photoshop. The purpose of this video is to show you how to install this extension or add-on and second is to demonstrate a workflow. So let's get started with the installation. You need to start by going to the Adobe add-on site Sign in using your Adobe ID and on the add-ons page, you can search for the extension or add-on using a keyword such as ArcGIS. This will bring up the add-on. You can click on it and then you should see a button that allows you to install that add-on onto your machine. Now I have already done it. That's why I see this checkbox that says I've already acquired it. Also, once it installs successfully, you should see a notification in your Creative Cloud app in the activity stream, letting you know that the add-on was successfully installed. Once installed, you can start using it with your application such as Photoshop. So in Photoshop, you start by creating a new file and then go to Windows extension and load the extension or add-on. This add-on is used to uh, download map content from the ArcGIS online platform into your Photoshop or Illustrator. In this case, we're using Photoshop. So you start by signing in using an ArcGIS online ID. This is going to be an organizational account ID that you can use here. Once you sign in, you can define, uh, start defining your map. You start by defining your mapping area or your extent. In the map boards window, use this draw tool to define your map extent. You draw an area on the map, give it a name, Click OK. You can, you can uh, move the extent to get all the area that you want on your map. The compilation window gives you a preview of your map at scale. You can use the compilation window to compile different layers to add on to your map. Click the Add button to search for layers. And you can search through different levels in the ArcGIS online platform. The Living Atlas is a repository of curated content where you can look for some specific layers. So let's say I'm looking for something uh, related to the sea surface temperature. I search for it using a keyword and I add it onto my map. I can continue compiling the map using other layers such as this world regions layer. Also, I want to add a grid onto this map. So now here I've used the extension to add different types of content. Some of them is an, a raster content and some vector content to compile this map. I can also further define properties such as give it a high resolution DPI so that the image get, that gets downloaded is in high resolution and also define a map projection. Now I can go ahead and download this map. When this map downloads, it's going to take into consideration how we've compiled it in this extension. Now, while this is downloading, let me show you some additional options. In the flyout menu, you can get access to uh, the online help for this app. Also, you can access some other videos which go through some of these other buttons in more detail. So here, now I have downloaded the map that I created in the ArcGIS Maps for Adobe Creative Cloud app. Thanks for watching.